Speaking of tough and grit and, and intestinal fortitude, watching you in Terminator getting at some point just completely, I don't know if it's complete, but a, quite a physical transformation. I mean, really getting jacked. Like as kind of the first female mm. in, in a way in, in our cinematic history to really get buff for a role? Well, Sarah Connor was kind of a classic damsel in distress, right? In the first one, the second one, you are the ass kicker. Was that, how? what, what choice was that amongst the uh, James or you or everyone? Oh, we, well, it, there was a seven year uh, break in between the first and second movie. So I'd had a lot of time to think. <laughs> and when Jim came and said, we're going to do another one, I was like, well, if this woman has been living with this certainty of what's coming, she's going to be crazy. Mm -hmm. So make her crazy. He hadn't he hadn't written the script yet. So he uh, he went away and came back a few months later. And indeed, Sarah Connor had had gone mad. <laughs> Um, and we, that was our launch point, you know, like I, I read the script. I was like, holy shit, I better get ready. <laughs> you know, I better get myself super strong so I can play this woman and, um, you know, do everything that is required to bring her to the screen. You know, do you remember what the regimen was? I loved, was? I loved the idea of, I loved the idea of the shock value. You know what I mean? To go from number one to number two and surprise people. For the third one, I kept saying, what if we made her really fat? <laughs> like, that would be a shock. She let it go. Like, they come back 30 years later and she's just fat. That's crafty as an actress. I don't want to get buff again. What if I just got fat? <laughs> But I, I mean, <laughs> Very smart, were, smart. You, were you training every day at six in the morning? Did uh, Stallone come by the house like he did with Travolta? <laughs> did were you living off of egg whites? Stallone didn't come. Stallone did not come by since he had nothing to do with the movie. Um, but Arnold and I trained together, not really much before the film, but when we were doing the film, uh, you know, Arnold travels with a truck with equipment and he was just completely generous in sharing um, all of his resources. So how did you how did you do it before that? What was your before regimen? that? It was it was 18 hours of working out 18 to 21 hours of working out a week. Oh, boy. We worked out six days a week, two to three hours. Oh, my oh I God. guess that's only 18 hours total. But yeah. We worked out about three hours a day, six days a week. And I imagine the the eating was very restrictive, especially at that time as we change what we know about nutrition and stuff. Can you tell oh us what you God. ate? Oh, my God. Yeah, it was non-fat. Yeah. Fat-free. Right. That was just at the at the leading edge of fat-free. A lot of spray butter. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I could eat an entire Entenmann fat-free cake. <laughs> Like eventually, because I was burning every <laughs> calorie, right? It was just nothing could have fat, so it, was, it really was chicken and salad. But uh, you know, anything that was fat free was like on the table. Fair game. 